If you've been to my blog site and seen the title, you might be wondering, what does that mean? Kairos Cafe. Kairos Cafe. What is that? What is Kairos? Is it a cafe? Is there food there? Well, this will give you a little bit of a background. It's the difference, a difference in time, a quality of time, between Kronos and Kairos, or Kairos. The ancient Greeks determined that there are actually two qualities of time. Kronos, which is chronological linear time, this is the ordinary definition of time that we are commonly used to. But the ancient Greeks also defined Kairos, also pronounced Kairos, which is a very extraordinary time, meaning the opportune moment, even the perfect moment. A time when conditions align for the wondrous and decisive moment. In theology, Kairos has been defined as the appointed time of God, when life on earth intersects with eternity. It is the now, the cosmic flow. It is the stuff of muses, gods, and goddesses. The ancient Greeks saw Kairos time as a fleeting moment. You've been in Kairos time. It's when you are absolutely centered and aligned with the universe. An athlete may call it being in the zone. It's a time when Kronos time seems to stop. When you are in Kairos time, all things are connected. The universe is speaking to you and through you, and you realize that you are the universe in microcosm. You have aligned your mind and your spirit with the mind and spirit of the universe. There are many vehicles to take you into Kairos time. Meditation, music, dance, movement, prayer. There are many paths to the mountaintop. And Kairos time is time spent atop the mountain where you can clearly see the horizon of your life. So, even though we are living our lives in chronos time, chronological time, the goal is, whenever possible, as often as possible, to burst in to Kairos time, a more eternal time, a more magical time, an opportune time, an opportune moment. I'll see you in the Kairos Cafe.